Hey, what's up guys? Ryan here with the Rona Project and it's Monday again. <laughs> Just playing, man. It's time for another RPU. Let's do this. As always, I normally want to start this show off on Monday to let you guys know what I'm going to be doing throughout this week. Um, and I'm going to be starting with paginating pages. Now, for you guys that aren't familiar with what paginating pages is, paginating a page is when you take uh, text and pictures and you make it all really pretty. Not like a manga, not like an actual manga page, but uh, something that you would do that's, say, for the back of the manga. Um, when you're wanting to include some extras about the book, uh, maybe some concept art, things like that. And that's what I've been working on and I plan to work on this week. The reason I plan on working on that stuff first because I'm actually still learning the toning, the bubbling process. Um, you know, we want to get really good with it. Uh, Anthony left some pretty big shoes to fill considering he's already got 30 pages or so toned. Um, we want to stay within the style that he laid out for us. And uh, you guys know that Anthony uh, was no, wasn't very lackadaisical on his art. Um, it's, it's very brilliant art and it's hard for two guys who don't have a lot of artistic ability to step into his shoes and start toning like he toned. So we're going through all the bumps and bruises right now. A lot of you guys actually did send videos and information our way that we did watch and did pay attention to and learn some things. And now we're just applying it all so that we can get this Wacompad down, get our programs that we're using down, and ultimately get the style down that we're wanting to use for the rest of the uh, volume. When I say paginating the other pages, though, the pages outside of the manga pages, I've been going through some of Anthony's old artwork. You can tell how much artwork he has here in just this one thing, and seriously, this is actually really heavy, um, believe it or not. And Anthony has two of those along with probably a stack of books, well I can't even fit it in the screen, a, a, a really big stack of books full of art. So we have tons and tons of Anthony's art here that I'm wanting to include um, as far as concept art and stuff like that in the book. So I had to take some time out over this weekend, I went through a lot this morning. Um, going through Anthony's art and just looking at some stuff and some concept stuff for like Chapin, um, you know, Sonjay, Arethus, Hutt, and Poma, um, Nujo, and other characters that you guys might not have heard of yet. But um, if you go back and watch the manga trailer, you're going to see these characters pop up on the screen that you may have never seen before. Um, and these characters uh, still play a, a part in the first volume of the story. However, they're just not so essential that we've made character descriptions for them. Going through all of Anthony's artwork um, is actually a lot of fun and I love to look through it and everything, um, but it is time consuming because I'm very particular about what pictures I want to use and put in the book and what they're going to pertain to and what I'm actually going to write about. So right now I'm working on almost like the fluff of the book. So I got a big week ahead of me. Um, I'm also going to be trying to you know, put out another video to keep you guys updated and do something fun. Don't forget guys that this is the video that you can ask questions, leave video responses to, and I will come back and answer your guys' questions and answer your video responses. It, it makes it a lot easier for me to put up videos just because if you leave a video response, you give me a question, I can just turn the camera on and just answer you guys right back. And so uh, I'm begging for them, I guess. I'm begging for some video responses and some comments and some questions. Uh, I did get some comments and questions from the last video, um, the last RPU video. That I'm going to go over one uh, right now. I'm going to go ahead and say this is probably our most asked comment that we get, especially in PM form. A lot of people personal, personal message us and ask us, what are we gonna do for the second volume of Rona? What's our plans for the second volume of Rona? Listen, I know what things, I know what's happened. You know, I, I'm obviously on the ground surface with uh, our situation, uh, with Anthony passing and everything. We're not looking to any farther than book one right now. Um, it's really hard to answer these kind of PMs without getting emotional. Um, it's even hard to talk on camera, really, without truly sitting back and, and taking it all in. Um, but I've gotten the PM enough now that I think I have the appropriate answer for you guys, which is we're just not looking past the first volume right now. We do understand there's going to be obstacles past this uh, first volume, um, but we're going to be willing to uh, take some steps and really research it and see um, what the next step will be for the second volume and volumes beyond that. Um, but right now, all we're focusing on is just the first book. Uh, we want to honor Anthony um, in every way that we possibly can with it. And um, that's all we're going to focus on right now. Um, and after the first book's over, we'll release plans to you guys that we have um, for future volumes and things like that. Let's do one more question. Uh, this is a pretty cool question right here. I have not had any writing classes whatsoever. I mean, I did go to college uh, for a little while and I took some English courses. 
I don't know if you'd call that writing classes, but uh, yeah. Pretty much my English courses and my English teacher didn't teach me anything that I thought would really pertain to fantasy writing. So no, I'm just uh, your regular guy trying to be a writer. But that's not always necessarily a bad thing. You gotta look back a um, long, long time ago. Guys like Abraham Lincoln only had one year of formal schooling. And this guy ended up becoming a lawyer and the United States uh, president. Abraham Lincoln actually taught himself trigonometry. I don't think I'll be doing that anytime soon, but just because I haven't had any writing classes doesn't necessarily mean I'll be a bad writer. Hopefully. To finish off the second part of that question though, um, in pertaining to the Dungeons and Dragons and stuff, yeah, we played Dungeons and Dragons when I was like 15. My brother's calling me. What's up, bro? To finish off the second part of that question in pertaining to the Dungeons and Dragons, yes, we used to play D&D all the time. It was a blast. I'd say we started playing when we were 15 or so. And it was really right about then that we started actually um, developing our characters and developing their backgrounds and developing their stories and things like that. Take, you know, it's probably important to note that at that time we were young and we made stories that were very, I would say, immature and things like that. But as we got older, the story developed and became a little bit more mature, a little bit more older and um, just overall just more well put together. <clears throat> Combine that with a lot of our own inspirations, things that we watch and we enjoy, we did made Rona. But I guess if you were to really get down to the raw facts of it, you could say that we started making characters and developing the uh, basic storyline for Rona almost 10 years ago. Well guys, I'm gonna cut it short right there and I guess that's it for now. Um, it's already getting pretty late, I need to upload this video ASAP. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to leave a comment and thumbs this baby up. That stuff helps so much, guys, you have no idea. Um, it puts us on charts for most viewed, most favorited, uh, most rated. I don't even know what it does, but whatever it does, it gets us out there a little bit more and helps the channel grow. So, um, and it's just one click of the button. And, uh, you know, if you could do it, it helps out a lot. Um, guys, we'll talk to you later.